Hey guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back to my channel. Today I did a makeup tutorial on the makeup that I wore out clubbing on the weekend with my friend Ivana. I showed you the hair tutorial before, so I decided to show you the makeup because I got loads of compliments on it. I'm just going to show you. kind of gets blurry when I get too close. But um, I use my Urban Decay Naked Palette for the eyeshadow, Chanel foundation, and false eyelashes, which I don't know if you really need. You probably don't even need them. They kind of make the look a lot darker so it's not necessary and just glow face and a little bit of pink on the cheeks and nude lips. Um, keep watching I hope you enjoy so I've just moisturized my face I used Origins of Perfect World Moisturize and then I'm going to use my MAC 13, sorry, 190 SE brush the traveling brush with this is a little bit of Chanel foundation the what one did I use? Prolimia because I'm going out. I'm just going to change the setting on my camera so you can see better because it's washing me out. That's better. Now I look like my colour. And I don't know if you can see that but that's my acne scar on you guys. Some people say that I don't have any, but I do. It's faded a lot. Like, now I can actually show you what I look like without makeup on properly. Because I'm not embarrassed. But I'm using Studio Fix Concealer by MAC. And I'm in NC30. And I'm using this Sigma F70 Concealer Brush to put that on my blemishes. Wow, I'm getting less and less blemishes. It's awesome. And I'm just going to use my finger to blend that in. Then I'm using my MAC palette, my brown palette. This is a um, French grey and just a little angled brush. And now I'm going in with MAC Brun, the darker colour. I'm just going to deepen up the body of the eyebrow. I'm going to use an eyeshadow primer. I'm going to use my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm going to use my Urban Decay Naked Palette. Okay, so I'm taking the colour Sidecar. the excess, I'm going to pat that onto my lid. Just the lid, I'm not really taking it into the crease and it can be messy like that. Taking some kind of blending brush, I'm going to take the lighter colour, the thin colour, onto the tip of that and pop that through my crease. Just to blend it up a little bit, fade it out. On top of that, I'm going to take the lightest colour, which is Virgin, and pop that over the seam of that. So it's almost into the brow bone, but not quite. Then take your favourite matte highlighter, mine is Bone by Bobbi Brown on a brush and put that under your brow bone. Now grab a fluid line from MAC or like a cream eyeliner. This one's Black Track, the fluid line one. And this very fine angle brush. And I'm going to create a really big um, cat eyeliner or angled eyeliner. So create that little angle.
going to clean up the bottom line. And that is my eyeliner. Now the tricky part is doing it to the other side, so I'll be right back. So hopefully that's quite even. Now I'm going to put on my mascara, and I'm going to use two mascaras because I want it to be really dramatic. So I'm going to use this one. Y cell faux seals, I like it because it makes my eyelashes look very voluminous and as if there's more of them, but look, it's already starting to dry up like I'm pissed. Freaking pissed. And I'm not putting any on the bottom lashes just because I want to make my eyes appear really, really slanted. Then I'm going with the second mascara, I'm going to use the Hypnose Drama from Lancome. Lancome? Yeah. Next I'm going to apply falsies and I'm going to use these ones that I bought online. I'm not going anywhere today to wear this so I'm just going to use these ones. Usually I would use better ones. But I don't want to like almost waste a pair of false, false eyelashes if I'm not going anywhere. Now for the face I'm just going to apply my Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Bronzer with my Large Angle Contour F40 brush from Sigma. I'm going to, um, that's my cheek. I'm going to put it on the lower half of the cheek. And that's just to add a little bit of contouring, but not too much. Then I'm going to add a highlight. This is Mineralist Skin Finish by MAC. I'm going to use my Sigma Small Contour FO5 brush for that. So put a little bit in there. Easy. And a little bit of colour to the cheeks. MAC Pink Swoon. Same brush. Right onto my apples. Dabbing motions. Blend. For my lips, line them. And my lip brush is dirty, so I'm just going to use my finger. I like that colour. It's pretty much the perfect nude. Now, for my hair. This is exactly how I did it. Got it in a high ponytail. And I've got my hair extensions in. I've already done a tutorial on it, but I'll just show you. Put my hair extensions into the ponytail. And then I'm going to braid it. That is exactly what it looks like, really. Ooh, there's a mirror at the end. I mean, that's a lot. So, very simple and sexy hair and makeup. Well, if you know how to do winged eyeliner, it's really simple. Winged eyeliner, you just have really have to practice. And then that really sexy hair, which I like because it keeps out of your face when you're clubbing. And it gets really hot in Australia, so. It's not so hot at the moment, though. There you go. Hope you guys like my tutorial. Bye.